Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about the information in Chapter 2, Lesson 7. Um, this is a method of multiplying that uses something called the distributive property of multiplication, which means you can break up larger factors Sort of like we did last time in area models where we broke them up by place value. This is kind of the same thing. I find this method is most useful when you have a fat, one of the factors is a single digit. It, it's really, really easy. Here's an example. If you have nine times 23. So we take the larger factor, the 23, and we break it up by place value. So 23 is equal to 20 plus three, right? If we multiply nine times those smaller factors, we get two partial products, which we can then add together for the total product. Sounds like area math, area model math, right? It kind of is, but you're doing it mentally. So here's an example. If I have nine times 23, I'm gonna break up my larger factor, 23, into 20 plus three. So, Using the tens trick, I told you we're gonna use that all the time, all the time. We can easily do nine times 20 because nine times two is 18, then annex your zero. Annex is a fancy, fancy word from the My Math book. I had never heard it before. It means stick a zero in there. Mm -hmm. So we stick a zero in there and then we have our times table question of nine times three, which is 27. These are called partial products. When we add them together, we'll get the full product or the answer to the multiplication question. So 10, and there it is. Nine times 23 is 207. Now, when you get really good at this, you won't have to write down all these steps. You'll be able to do it in your head and see it in your head and get the answer. And that's called mentally calculating. Now, the reason that I'm, I'm saying this is because your assignment for today, which is page 121 of your volume one, my math book, your assignment today, if you read the instructions, they are really confusing. It says, find each product mentally Mm -hmm. using the distributive property. Show the steps that you used. What? If I'm finding it mentally, how am I showing the steps? Well, what they want you to do is basically what I did here. Show how you break up, how you break up the larger factor and then use the tens trick to calculate your product. I think what they mean by show the product mentally is don't do your long 23 times nine, your long algorithm that you would normally possibly have done before this. So nine times three is 27, carry the two. Don't do all that. They want you to do it this way. That will just get your mind into the method of calculating this. As I said, when you do a lot of these, you will be able to do them in your head very, very quickly and easily. So for today, I would like for you to show me the steps of your mental calculation. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I think those instructions mean, okay? So uh, again, if you had any questions that you wrote down that I did not answer, uh, feel free to email me or we will cover the answers again in class. See you next time. Bye.